each of your pipe dream workflows spin up in its own isolated VM or virtual machine. This virtual machine contains its own separate disk and RAM. However, workflows will all share the same common network. That means when your workflow is being bootstrapped, it's assigned an IP address from somewhere in the AWS US East 1 region. The IP address can change from execution to execution. This isn't a problem for normal apps that you interact with that have no firewalls like Notion, Google Sheets, etc. However, this can be an issue for some services like databases, for example. If your database has a firewall that only allows certain IP addresses to access it, due to the random nature of IP assignment and Pipedream workflows, the database may reject the request. This problem is solved by Pipedream VPCs. Now you can create a VPC that your Pipedream workflows will spin up within so that they all have a common outbound IP address. That way you can allow a specific IP address on your sensitive services like APIs that you control or databases that you control to block out the rest of the internet, but allow your Pipedream workflows to continue to function. Setting up a VPC is straightforward and requires no code or CLI configuration. Let's go to the Pipedream dashboard and we'll open up our settings. Then under our workspace settings, we'll open up the Virtual Private Clouds tab or VPC. Under this view, we can create our first VPC. So let's click new VPC in the very top right hand corner and we'll name it. You can see that the status is currently pending. It's gonna take a few minutes for this VPC to, to warm up. Once our VPC has been created, you'll see the status change to available. Now, when we create a new workflow, we can assign this workflow to be initialized within our virtual private cloud we just created. So I create a new workflow and I'm gonna open up the settings. And then you can see down here in the execution controls, you can now run it in a VPC. Don't forget to click save. You can assign many workflows to run in the same VPC and that will make, and that will assign the same outbound IP address for all requests within that workflow to that VPC.